Hi folks, uh, I've uh, added ultramarine and cadmium red. Oh, at least I've got a white So, and with Payne's grey, so we'll have five colours. It's a sort of a beach, beachy scene. Uh, cheapo brushes or Put my pinny on. Right, okay, no cheap, cheap brushes. I found one, well I didn't lose it, I forgot to clean <laughs> for two days but it, it hadn't gone really hard so I'm just soaking that in the dishwasher, washing up liquid, that will clean it all out, brilliant stuff. You don't need to, to worry about solvents with oil paintings, if, if you suffer from chest things, and I do now, um, solvents are not very good for breathing. Uh, I'm not so happy with that brush. Uh, but using, you know, the uh, using linseed oil and a bit of, I think the only uh, petrol cam is uh, this artisan, well it's a fast drying medium, probably contains alka resin. Uh, but it's not, uh, it's not marked as toxic, alkyd resin, uh, just, I just put a few drops in with the linseed oil, a good quality linseed oil, not, not artist quality, you don't need artist quality. Um, and wash, use, using dishwasher liquid to clean your brushes, nothing uh, toxic there, make your hands nice and clean. Uh, but all this terps, uh, pure turpentine, uh, white spirit, it, it's zesty, they're, 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 they're toxic, they're, they're made from petrochemical, petrochem and are hazardous, but you don't need to worry about that. That's why I stopped doing oil painting for years, um, because I, I, I spent a year doing Venice paintings for a gallery, uh, and I use a lot of toxic, and I use paraffin or kerosene to clean my brushes as I as I went along, um, and I dry them out or squeeze them out in a cloth, so the rag eventually became saturated with with um, kerosene paraffin. A new one, and I was sort of holding it underneath my nose really, and I was breathing it in, and it just doesn't do you any good. So. If you're worried about oil painting, or you've given it up because you didn't like the solvents, linseed, just, I, oh, I've just got a tray here, little, well, plastic top, I've got a number of these, they come with my beer mix uh, cans, and I just squeeze some out and just add to it. But you don't want to overuse it, because otherwise it'll just get all slippery. But I want to do something like a, a Devon scene, so let's just make a start with a bit of bit of uh, colour, a bit of white, and I've primed, I've primed this uh, piece of watercolour paper, you can just see the demonstration underneath it, when I did a couple of days ago, I don't know, but it's okay for the demo, but it um, didn't make a very good uh, seller, so I enjoyed painting it at the time. Oh, I get a bit of blue, a bit of a scene. A lot of work going on outside. The neighbours building or having a, a uh, decking rebuilt. We'll have the clips. But burnt sienna is a good good colour. 
unfortunately I used one of these cheap brushes to prime it. I squeezed out some dribbles of PVA glue and then I added to the middle of it some, some burnt sienna, uh, burnt sienna acrylic. Just to give it a tint. So it's sort of, sort of a bay. I can add a few rocks and stuff. Or Devon, or, or, or even um, Norfolk. We can uh, mix a bit of a bit of a greeny colour there. Sort of. Uh, we'll take we'll take that sandy bay all around there. Nice light bright sand. These are great brushes, these cheapo ones. Okay, that's just just a model, and we'll, we'll put that tide coming in or going out, or whatever. The paint's grey with that blue. Okay, well, let's work on a. I, want, I really want that green. A good green is uh, red, yellow, and the paint's grey. To show, I've just changed the cliffs here, so let's uh, get a bit of darker stuff in here. Okay, going to sort of nothing. Sky, so in the juice, just bung some paint on. The paint's great mixed with the ultramarine. I like to put the darks on. I'll put the uh, lights in. Give something to counter change against. I'll probably do some watercolours tomorrow. One for Patreon. YouTubers. Bit by bit, it covers. Yeah, 
you see where I'm coming from, I've got a cup of tea here, of course. Think of the booth when you start the oil painting, just sort of work all over. Just going in with the neat, neat stuff now. Kids, they got a tent in their garden, or a little children's tent. I find yellow oak indispensable for skies. Just takes the the sting out of the white. Okay, let's go in with the uh, blue and grey, blue and paints grey. to the uh, landscape a bit now. It's a bit of a distant sort of green for to go on the top of those hills here. Don't worry too much about getting things exact, the rougher the better, really. Clean the brush, bit of ochre, bit of white. Just an indication of something going on 
in that distance. I'll call this Norfolk. And a cheap old brush. Okay, let's get a bit of a sandy stuff in this beach here. And a little bit of bit of red in it. Catching the light. Well, that's a bit slightly darker, beachy colour, warmer colour. Bit of a mauvey colour. Can't show you my palette because it's uh, clipped. Not even holding it. It's a very small palette. So you, well, I'll show you. Well, let's just come down to there. Look, there's only a little bit of MDF. But it really works, it's good, and then when it gets too warped and embedded or encrusted with paint then just change it. Enough a bit of uh, waste. It would almost be like looking at um, <coughs> the mainland from Hailing Island. I've done several of those. Last year when we came back from uh, one of the Warner Ledger hotels. Oh, what a lovely, really, really lovely place. Bembridge. Okay, that's a cool. Where are you going for it? Well, make Wayne. Putting a bit of shadow in the in the sand, or the distant, or the impression of. All right, we need to put some. Go, but we've got to do a lot to do in that sky. Yeah, we've got to you now just brighten things up a bit in that uh, sea on the edge of the shore.
looking at the mainland from from Pembridge Beach is uh, lovely. Especially at low tide. I got the idea of this one from uh, Jackie Gardner. Have a look at her work, she's a superb abstract sort of landscape, and my sort of painter. So I'll put a bit of shadow there where the, the uh, sand dunes sort of finish. Let's go back to the sea while we're sorting that out. Let's have a drink of tea. Get a hair on them, the paper, just get it off. Because it'll show up. Okay. Now I tend just to work at my skies, I just sort of approach them from the side. Do a bit and move on. Quite a bit of paint's grey.
I can't tell, I was very strong. I've had uh, red, I mean to say. Oh, let's enjoy it. Mm. A little bit of, bit of blue just poking through. Very impressionist. So the ground colour just shows through a bit, which is nice. Okay, let's uh, get some, some brights in the water now. to the reflection of some of those clouds. A bit more blue up then. Yeah. See if we can just show the uh, waterline here. It's all low tide.
okay, I'm going to let that go. Maybe just a little bit of a light on there. Okay, well, so it sort of bags are nothing really. Put it in a mount. So leaving those little tail, those little unpainted bits on the corners where the clips are, I can just catch it with a bit of masking tape, uh, which has vanished. Sometimes I can't see the wood through the trees. We don't wear reading glasses yet, it tends to happen. And it's always in an obvious place. Until it isn't. I've got a new hole ready to go. Let's reduce the. Oh well, let's put the mounts on it. I think maybe you could put a bit of a sea guard in or something. Not very good, are they? I think we'll get rid of one of those. This brush doesn't have a point. Sky, I think. Uh, right, let's just take you up a bit. You can see it in the mount. Just a bit of a, a sea picture. Uh, probably could do with just a little bit more highlight on the edges. Let's look at any paint out the brush at the moment. Right, okay, that's a Oh, that's a bit better, isn't it? All's fair in love and war. Okay, well that's it. Right, I hope you like that, folks. I'll get this one uploaded now. And... I've just ordered a new uh, tablet, 10-inch tablet. I've got a couple of laptops 
not working well. Well, one's fairly new. The one I'm using at the moment up in my studio is a, is a sort of six-year-old one. Still works. I had to get the fan replaced in it several months ago, but it's working perfectly well. You have to be a bit patient for it to start up there. Uh, but the, t the tablet I had, I, I haven't got any Apple stuff. Can't afford that. It's all Windows, but I've got a. I, I put my heel on the tablet that I had. It was on a, like a footrest, footstool. And it's in a case, and I just gently rested my foot on it, my heel on it, while I was doing something on my, my main laptop to do with uh, YouTube, uh, to do with the demonstrations. And it cracks, cracks the screen, and it doesn't work. It, bits of it work, but it's, it's not worth repairing. But it was a, a Fusion a Fusion 5. A good little tablet, apart from the rubbish sound. You just couldn't get any sound out of it. Had to use either Bluetooth speakers or listen on headphones. I couldn't uh, listen to it at any low volume. But I've, the one I've just ordered on uh, Amazon is a uh, a Vankio S30 10 inch, uh, three gigs. Uh, so that should arrive any time. So thanks for, for supporting me on Patreon or Import the Art Painting because that goes to pay for the infrastructure of this channel which includes five, four laptops or three laptops and now three tablets two are now defunct and one is in the post. Uh, right, well if uh, you like my stuff go and support me on Patreon it's very inexpensive and you can... Uh, watch what I do for next to nothing for nearly 450 videos let's just get something on, on these little tiny waves ok I'll clear up now I'm go for a bike ride uh, but I, I, I do like doing these sort of semi-abstract ones. There's quite a seagull sky, although I don't flatter myself. Seagull is a master of skies. And uh, I've got a couple of books on him and a catalogue of his la a recent, a fairly recent exhibition of his work. Uh, right, okay, that's all I've got to say. See you soon. Bye-bye.